So here we are at problem set B, or problem set 1B. Um, we've got uh, the background, so we're going to go ahead and start with that. In part A, we unrealistically assume that your salary didn't change, but you are an MIT graduate, and clearly you are going to be worth more to your company over time. So we are going to build on your solution to part A by factoring in a raise every six months. Um, in the solution, you're going to modify the program to include the following. Have the user input a semi-annual salary raise. Uh, and then number two, after the six month, increase your salary by that percentage. Do the same after the 12th month, the 18th month, and so on. Write a program to calculate how many months it will take to save up enough money for a down payment. All right, and then everything else is pretty much the same as before. Uh, here are the test cases. So in the interest of time, I've drawn up, uh, I've already done the program and run it a few times to make sure that it works, but I'll do it now live just to make sure. All right, so if we look at, if we look at the code here, I'll delete that. So everything else, as you can see, is pretty much the same. The only difference comes right here. Um, now, last time I had this as annual, as a monthly salary, um, with some other things factored in. As you can see, I still have the variable here, but I stopped using it. And the the reason is, for whatever reason, there the if st the if statement here wasn't picking up. Um, annual raise and implementing the code that was down here. It would carry on as if as if that was not a part of anything. Um, so when I just put the long form of annual salary divided by 12, instead of putting in monthly salary, for some reason the, the code worked. I still don't know exactly what was causing that, um, but it may be the, the fact that this is done outside of the loop and then this goes one layer deeper into another loop or another part of the loop um, so we'll leave it at that um, if we go back we're going to look at the test case so we're still making a hundred and twenty thousand as before uh, the difference is now the percentage that we're saving is only five percent and the cost of the dream home is now 500k instead of a million. Um, and the, the semi-annual raise is 0 0.03. So we'll run through these um, now. So we're going to go to five annual, annual salary 100. There we go. The percentage of our salary, we're saving 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and run. So we get the number of months, 142, just as in the test case example. Uh, we'll do one more to ensure that it's working. And so this is 80K, but we're saving 10%, and the house is 800K. So we should get 159 months. All right. My fault. And we're still doing 0 0.03 as a semi annual raise. All right, and it works. We get 159. So you kind of see where things are going here. Um, looks like we've got it. Thank you so much, and I will see you on port. One C.